I am now reading from the preface of my new book, uh, The Black Days of 21st Century. Novel coronavirus or COVID-19 is not merely a name of the most deadly virus. It is the deadliest and the most bizarre virus the world has ever seen. It can be called the greatest epidemic of this century and the most terrific disease that have been seen by any living human being. The unseen enemy or unidentified killer virus does not care for age, sex, area, status and position of a person. It kills all who come in its contact. Since the beginning of the new year, the draft disease has started to spread its poison from Yuhan in China to different continents of the world. The epidemic has so far infected about 25 lakh people and killed nearly 2 lakh people around the world. Regularly, almost 1 lakh additional people are getting infected by this dangerous virus. And regularly, Almost 1 lakh additional people are getting infected globally and about 10,000 lives are being taken by this ugly virus. There was probably not a single disease or any epidemic that has created so much panic of death among so many people in so many countries ranging from America to Africa and from Europe to Asia. Almost every part of this world has seen unprecedented lockdown. The business is closed, the traffic is halted and the movement of people is restricted. Except very emergency works, people are not allowed to go out of their homes. This is completely a new experience to any living person aged 100 or less. It is completely a suffocating situation to the students, children, youths, as well as workers of various sectors. The role of different people has completely changed. Mothers are taking rest while fathers are cleaning floors and utensils. Millions of workers are working from home. Police is controlling food distribution, giving hand sanitizer, sensitizing people about COVID-19, requesting people not to go out of the homes without emergency works. Instead of controlling traffic, catching tips, pickpockets and criminal activities, actors are watching acting of others through YouTube. So this role has been reversed. Preparing kitchen garden, watering flower plants, playing with pets and kids, wives are cutting the beard and hair of their husbands. Owners of factories and business houses are doing laundry of their own and other family members' clothes. Many others are engaged in painting, drawing and writing poems and articles. Some have restarted to write diaries of their daily experiences. Contrary to this, many daily laborers, farming helpers, coolies, barbers, auto taxi drivers, bus drivers and helpers, tea stall owners, have started to experience hunger. The deprivation of a large section of the people is the hard reality in this situation. The condition of rag pickers, electricians, plumbers, carpenters, rickshaw and pullers, unemployed youths and jobless people is beyond description. Unless the lockdown period, under the lockdown period, the migrated laborers and stand are stranded and stranded people anywhere in the world are suffering from want of square meal, living in unhygienic environment, lacking pure drinking water and medicine. The true friends are now doctors, nurses, technicians, lab assistants, office staff, trolley boys, mob and crematorium workers, ambulance drivers, helpers, night girls, caregivers and male related workers. The world the condition of stranded students during long lockdown in other states and countries is also extremely pathetic. The government, non-government and 
voluntary organizations, charitable institutions, ashrams, and temples have been have come forward for uh, helping the needy, the contribution of rich, wealthy, and healthy people, uh, and hearty people in this crisis period needs to be praised and acknowledged with gratitude, isn't it? Thank you.